going to build the suspense a little bit longer and just kind of talk about some key trends that came out for our judges. Guys, it seemed like the same thing that we've heard for the past few days, taste was still really important here. Absolutely. Agreed. And I don't think it's just taste. It's the flavor profiles. It's the texture. It's the mouthfeel. Um, and all of that came up in our conversation. And how about, you know, one thing that was interesting was promising too much too soon or going too broad too fast. So how do you guys think about that path to growth? What are you looking for? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing that, to your point on complexity, right? Like, but, it, but what's been going on is smaller and younger, younger brands can take it on, and they have been successful at it. So, so if you have a flexible brand and you feel you can get in a couple spaces early, it's probably worth it. But you got to watch that you're not getting too wide, spreading your resources too thin, jumping in categories that are totally different. And, and the people that work with buyers and others know that it's, it's probably good to work with one, not two. Uh, as you spread your resources um, early on. So just something to watch out for, right? Gail, what struck you about the, the pitch slam? What were you looking for and really energized by? Uh, I think I was really looking for category disruptors, things that haven't been thought of before or things that were spoke to you off the shelf. We're in a very crowded store, in very crowded social world, where you're walking down the aisle and all of a sudden you say, that's really interesting, I'm gonna pick that up, what is it? And to be able to capture the eye and the imagination in, you know, in 3.2 seconds, 3 .2 seconds <laughs> uh, is, a, is a real challenge uh, and incredibly important. And with that, what were some, without, without giving it away too much, um, let's see if you guys can guess, what were some traits of our winner of the pitch slam that really made them stand out? I think the ability to talk to the customer outside of the store, identify needs, and to be able to create a conversation or at least create interest and pull people into the retail environment, whether it's online or in-store. Yeah, and I think some key attributes and... Um, key trends are, are called out on packaging. The packaging meant a lot to us in this decision. Pete, what about you? Yeah, and I think it's uh, you know, jumping into a hot category, but figuring out a way to, to really stand out and differentiate yourself in it and quickly like, take the ground a little bit. It, yeah, that's what I saw today. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to say one more round of applause for all of our finalists. <laughs> This was I actually think this was probably the most competitive and hardest deliberation of any of the pitch slams uh, I've been part of. Pete, you've done a couple of these. Yeah, I would say the same. The quality, it just keeps going the higher and higher on these brands. Dave and I were talking earlier, I mean, just the, the complexity of the pitch, the thoughtfulness of what they're doing day in and day out, the brands, the the way it ties back to the ingredient or the story and everything else. I mean, it's way more complex than just five years ago when you would be at a pitch slam and people are stumbling and figuring it out. But it's, it's fun to watch the, the journey. But yeah, and the help that everybody's getting, obviously, to, to come at a little higher professional level at this early stage. It's, it's awesome to see. Just imagine where we'll be in five years from now. Totally right. Yeah. Just holograms pitching on stage. <laughs> 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 All right. And with that, let me grab the trophy, the winner of the Nosh Live Pitch Slam Volume 7 is No Brainer. Come up on stage, Gary. So guys, what made No Brainer the winner? <laughs> I think for us, we talked about taste a lot. The taste, the texture um, is amazing. And for being um, no sugar, zero sugar, I mean, it, it, it's, that stood out to us. And I think the packaging as well. You could, right when you looked at the packaging, I knew exactly what I was getting. And I knew, I knew what the differentiators were. Yeah. And you, yeah. you've picked the target audience, but you've got an op opportunity to talk to multiple people with that product. Yeah, you made yeah. me think about the protein play versus the fat, because I've been grappling with that, so. Great, well, congratulations again. Thank you guys all for joining us, and have a wonderful afternoon. Did you enjoy the video? For more from Nosh, 
Hit subscribe and ding the bell.